Welcome back everyone to our career mode, our Cricket 24 career mode that is. It is myself, Dean, if you don't know me, uh, Twisty Three is what they call me on the internet. And today is our final, oh gee, that uh, almost shaped in, our final three day game for our first season at club level. Now we've had a, a, a decent first season, there's been 350s, 100 across about 15 or so performances with the bat. That's no run there. No run. So, of course, there's still plenty of improvement to be had, but we are obviously trying to work our way through uh, this particular series and just, you know, get the ones, get the twos, and uh, and continue to build consistent scores so that we are, uh, you know, a chance in the eyes of the selectors. I also want to give a special shout-out to all of the new viewers who have come in, especially yesterday, uh, because there was so many new subscribers. There was almost... 500 subscribers in a single day, which I think is the biggest in channel history as we you know, push towards that 100,000 subscriber milestone. So if you want to be a part of it and you haven't subscribed yet, please get on it uh, because this career mode is going to be absolutely fantastic. As I drive that through the covers, it doesn't beat the man. There's a bit of a mix-up, but we get back. No run. That's a better shot. That should be the single. And one thing I haven't done is is have two good innings in a row in terms of in a three-day game. First and second innings, they've both been... Either one's been good or one's been bad. They haven't both been good. If we can have two, like, 50s today, uh, that would be good. Or just have a really big first inning score so that it doesn't even matter. That has been punched off the back foot. I reckon that's six. That is absolutely smashed. Oh, it's been given as four. How close was this to being a six? Oh, it's bounced there. That is very unlucky. Mate, they have absolutely crowded the bat here. We got a slip, we got a leg slip, we got a short leg. I mean, if you can get it in between that offside gap though, it's probably a boundary. Oh, yes it is. That's exactly where I've gone. And it's just gonna be the two. The fielder in the deep's done nicely. That's what we'll have to settle for. Do you reckon I could smash it over mid on? Back foot through that cover region again. This is getting closer and closer to the boundary rope, and it's four. No run. Cut. Not in the gap. Chance of a run out, but uh, keeper's a bit slow. And all of a sudden, 18 from 14. This is a really positive start. That was towards the gap. It was almost straight through the short leg, just the single. Now, there is supposed to be a patch coming for this game as well later on today. I'm not entirely sure what it will involve. So I guess in tomorrow's career mode video, I will tell you uh, once they have released it and all of the details of that. There's a bit of an inside edge onto my pad and it was almost taken by the short leg, but not quite. So um, once I get an update as to what actually is in that patch, I'll let you know. Because at the moment, apparently someone said the ball doesn't spin in the comments the other day. So... <laughs> Maybe that makes sense as to why I'm not actually turning it and why the AI aren't turning it as much either. It's just really right arm slow at that point. Just a bit of right arm garbage, which is exactly what I would bowl if I did play a bit of cricket. Edged, and that is in between keeper and like first slip. So that is absolutely frustrating if you were green veil. 23 from 21, three for 77. What about a sweep shot? That's not a sweep shot. Oh my goodness, I don't know how that misses stumps. Woo! Beats the edge. That's a better shot. Absolutely it is. Cut away and four. Yep. And that's beautifully driven through the covers. And uh, it is only just the one because uh, the fielding is pretty good. I wanted to take it on, and the gap was available to me. It's going to roll and roll and roll, and it almost doesn't quite plug like it probably should in uh, reality, but yeah, I want to get that to the boundary. Yep. And this time along the ground, and they've continued to leave that cover gap open, so I'm taking advantage of it two or three times, uh, especially in this over, and that's a third run we're going to come back for. Three, four, 89. And my confidence level, as you can see, in the green now, which is huge. Wait. And I'll cut 
that away. Oh, it's a dangerous single, but we'll get it. As we now lost another wicket, four down. Now, one thing you'll notice, uh, and I don't know if anyone else who's played that, we five down now, we've lost another wicket. Cheapest. Oh. One thing you'll notice is in this particular game, compared to the previous cricket games, is it is much more difficult to hit a boundary. Although there is no mid on and mid off here. So if yep. I can at least get a little bit of bat onto it, hopefully we can find its way down there. It's racing away and it does get there. It's just a, there was just a huge gap in the V. There was almost no one in the entire V. And there's still no one there. Like, look at this, I, I have to hit it straight down the ground. Oh dear, I've forgotten to hit the ball, clearly. How is my timing ideal for a straight like shot down the ground that is a genuine like half volley? I don't understand that, but I'm out for 40. It's six for 96. So the team only made 103 runs in the first innings, which is absolutely terrible. So we're gonna need to actually take some wickets here to get us back into the game. How is that? You would pay that at, at club level. You would say that is, uh, that is out. Oh, bang, 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 wickets tumble. And we're back in with the bat. Average now of 29.93, it's almost into the 30s. What do we got in this second innings? Waiting. With a lead of 60 now. Wait. Oh, I've driven that perfectly straight and it'll be no run. So lackluster, a 40 in the first innings. Wait. A relatively low effort bowling performance no wickets were taken and there's the first run with the bat now i don't actually know what uh is happening in terms of the sh this uh three day league where we are situated on the standings where we could potentially end up if we end up playing a final or if it's just you finish on top of the ladder you win the three day league but obviously at least for the uh odi and t20 comp We'll be in the final for the T20. The ODIs, we are out of it. We finished third. Get as many singles as you can to start it off. Yep. Oh, that's four. No one there. Easily whipped away to the onside. It's actually not going to be four. It's going to be fielded beautifully in the deep with a nice diving effort. Just the one. Oh, just the three. Jeez, I can't count how many runs I did. Oh, hit it straight to short cover. That is a disappointing result. I was trying to lift it up and over the infield. The man is in a catching position there and he's able to take it. So again, another disappointing result with the bat 40 and five across the two innings. We'll get a chance with the ball here in the second innings. We've taken 14 wickets across the 14 matches. Been a disappointing little day, hasn't it? All right, I've left the big leg side gap, so I'm hoping they try to play it there, and they just hit it straight onto their pads, and I can get them out. It's a score that is clearly going to be too difficult for them. There is the wicket. Well, that was, and that was the strategy, so it has worked. I'd love to have seen a bit more edges that I could have got, like a few more outside edges. To the keeper or the first slip or something as a as a spin bowler that would have been really nice so far in my career but i suppose we have to take what's available okay so there's just a little bit here of concern because we got to get this ball got to get a wicket here and break this pair they've just they've just given themselves a sniff they only need another hundred runs but this partnership is just about worth that. And that is a lovely drive down the ground. I don't think anyone's stopping it. That's four. 150 comes up. Oh, they've done it. They've given me the ball here. Flynn's on 100. They need one to win. Waiting. Or they're two behind. Or one behind. So it's two to win. Yep. Ah, oh, he's got it in the gap. And that's the game. It is all over. We have... Choked a 200 run lead in a fourth innings. That is honestly a disappointing day, disappointing game. I mean, my 40 in the first innings, you thought we were going to be all right, but then nah, absolutely nothing going on in that second innings, and we are dunsies.
with a five wicket loss. So the three day game didn't go our way, but we do have the T20 final, which will be our final game of our first season here. It's Castlemaine versus Torquay. Torquay have won the toss, they're gonna bowl first, which means we're gonna have to set a target here. It's T20 cricket, we probably won't bat. We will get 2.2 overs to bat. And a score of 160 on the board is not too bad. Shot down the ground or maybe a cut on the yep. on the uh, potential cards here. That is an ideal times three shot. And a two to get us started. So between me and Dennis, if we can get this over 180, that's a big win. Yep. Might be two again. Good running, good running, good running, good running. Love it. Two for one, six, four. How is it still early? It was a slow ball bouncer. It's hit me in the noggin. I'm going to run through for a leg by. Edged. Get the one. Keeper's end, I'm entirely in trouble. But uh, the bowler's end... My teammate would have been, but I am not worried about whatever he does. I reckon I could cut this away to the boundary. Yep. Oh, that was perfect. It's just a single, so I'll hold strike for the last over. It's two for 171. Yep. Uh, mistimed again down the ground. Should be two. Bowler's end is dangerous, of course, but Dennis gets there. Go on, give us another full one. Edged, doesn't carry, still get the single. So four balls remain. Cassidy to Dennis, and he gets an outside edge, and we will run to the danger end to get another one. So can we find a boundary here off the last three balls? It's gotta be a wide, has to be a wide, has to be a wide if you're not letting me play at it. The gap is, is in between point and, uh, and sort of square gully. Yep. It's another edge that just goes along the ground, so we're only going to get a single. We will end on a not out score though. 11 from 10 not outs. Not, not a terrible result, just a few more runs. And a score of 176. Yes, yes. Plus uh, one more. We'll make it 177. That's not a bad result in the end. And I think we can defend that. Can we win the T20 title here at club level as we come from the ground? So I'll get an opportunity just at the end of the power play. The five over mark. Feel that myself. Yes, lovely. And the required rate is nine yep. uh, plus. 9.27. That's a good shot. That's a slog sweep from Hicks to the boundary. Oh, that is unlucky because the slip man couldn't get near that. All right, we've got to find a way to ruin this potential innings. That's good. Good shot uh, placement. Last ball of my first over and the last ball of the power play. They can't get it away for anything. Eight from the over. One for 58. I've got a lot of leg side fielders here to protect the boundaries. So that's where I should be bowling it. He's heavily leg sided. As long as he doesn't get it past sort of short fine leg, then I'm okay with it. That would, that would be the worst case result. Uh, sort of fine. Yeah, brilliant over. Three coming from it. Economy. We love to see it. Required rate still 9.7. So it hasn't really changed. They haven't really gained any ground. They haven't lost any ground. It's 68 from 42. We've got to keep it tidy once again. This has probably been my best T20 bowling performance. Despite the no wickets, it's been economically very good. And I'll tell you what, I'll be shocked if they don't give me the ball back after these three overs have been very, very tidy and tight. That's just three more again from the over. So they have absolutely killed us the last few overs. It's now 18 from 18 is the required scoreline. That has been whipped through mid-wicket and that is a boundary. Fielders have no hope. So it's just slipped away from us. Oh, it's pretty close, that. It's probably outside the line. Yep. Oh, bang. 
Catch that if you're out there. That's six. That's a big, big shot. It's now eight to win. There is only two deliveries left in the over, so I don't think the winning runs are going to be hit against me, but I think we're going to lose. We're going to lose the T20 final unless someone can perform a miracle here. It's two for 172. Torquini just six from the last two overs. Oh, that's it. That's the game. Up and over and six. And see you later. We will be second place to finish off the season. As their hats appear on their head, Torquay have won what appears to be the World Cup in, in Club T20 land, chasing 177 in 18.1 overs. We are done. Our first season done. Finished. Disappoints. The Victoria Cup is complete. The entirety of our calendar is complete. We finished off our first season of cricket. We are going to be simulating all the way through here because our... our um... So we actually won 10 matches of the 15 that we did, in fact, play. And at the end of our first season, our batting average, 29. We had three 50s and 100 as well in that. And our bowling figures... We had 15 wickets across the 16 innings. The economy was okay. Three for 31, our best figures. And our Manhattan graph is here. We had, what's that? One, two, three, 50s in 100. Disappointing finish to the career, but obviously it's hard to judge some of the form given that uh, the T20 matches where we didn't bat or didn't play or didn't have a lot of balls to face. So. Our next season, we're really going to have to make the most of our opportunities in terms of uh, playing for particular teams and, and getting selected. So once we get a chance at, at state level, I mean, none of these Australian tours will be happening. But, you know, there's a possibility for maybe a Big Bash debut or a One Day Cup debut or a Shield debut. Um, they're sort of the first stepping stones that we will need to progress through in our career as we push forward. So that is going to be it. We are going to finish our first season of Korea. It's only taken six videos to do it. Uh, but when I come back, we are currently 32 overall. And we'll see how we go in season two of our club Korea. Or well, our, our full Korea, but season two of, of being in a club starts next video where hopefully the patch has given us some good updates. So thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you all later. <laughs> Goodbye.